got to ask you something. How do you do that weird kind of ray gun kind of... Bzz, bzz? Oh, yeah. Um, hold on one second, I'll show you. I got to get one. <laughs> Yeah, wasn't on the Re on the Rebel Yell album. Uh, I'll explain what happened with that. But. So, um, so your question was about the the ray gun thing. Yeah. Um, on the Rebel Yell record, uh, I I kind of replicated. I had some toy ray guns, but I never, you know, thought about doing it with with like a uh, ray gun or anything. So on that, it's a PCM a Lexicon PCM. 41. Okay, yeah. And all it is is just like turning up the modulation all the way, very small, very slow, um, or very short de uh, delay, delay time, and just letting the modulation just, okay. you know, and then I had it on a foot switch, so the whole thing just kind of goes, duh, 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 duh. Yeah. <clears throat> but we did have to punch in and edit, it took a while to kind of get it, it wasn't like I just played the thing and, and it, yeah, and then so so after that, I started to think, well, what am I trying to do here? You know, I'm trying, you know, what I'm really trying to do is I collected these these kind of Chinese toys. So, um, so this is the one that I've used a lot, and and basically, I go inside. There's a couple of things you have to keep in mind. You gotta make sure the speaker is on the right side to play it through yeah. the guitar. Um, and then there's, you know, I tinkered around with it, and I guess I guess there's a whole like. Uh, community of people that what they call this uh, there's a whole thing of uh, oh, I forgot the name but this it's the guys who who re-engineer yeah they're really into but they use all these toys yeah. and stuff like speak and spell and all these kind of Mattel toys and stuff um, and, uh, and so I went inside and I, and, I, and I looked at this tiny little circuit board and I realized I could vary the rate of this one resistor uh, because a potentiometer is nothing but a variable resistor. So, so you've got basically um, there's seven sounds on this, and it, each time you hit the the, um, the pull the trigger, it, it'll trigger a different sound. So, so say that one. Now, if I do that, see when you get when you just buy the thing, it, it's just going to do that, right? But I realized. And what's cool is that, so let's see, you can hold the note. It becomes a whole like musical performance because you're crossfading yeah. just by bringing it closer yeah. to the guitar and then going away. So. That's 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 the whole thing of the ray gun. I knew the ray guns. I didn't know that you put potentiometers in there. Yeah, I was I kind mean, of wondering how you got the how you the got it too much. That's the thing about it because you want to vary the rate. So I've I've got about three of these. Um, this one I keep at home. Then there's two that I tour with, and they all sound different. Um, but the main thing I realize is you, know, you got to have the speaker on the right yeah. side of that, and then uh, and because some of them you got to do like this, uh, and it becomes a whole pain in the ass. Uh, that's the ray gun.